In the quest to take man to Mars and back and make us interplanetary beings, the SpaceX Starship may well be a huge determining factor in whether we'll be able to achieve that goal or not. After billions of dollars worth of mistakes and many rockets that went in flames to achieve what we now know as the SN8 Starship, what's the next adventure in Elon Musk's ambitious plans and what are the latest updates on SpaceX Starship? Welcome dear viewers, in today's video we'll take a look at SpaceX's new spacefaring rocket, what it has accomplished and its prospective future. Before we get into the meat of things, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel Future File to watch more videos about such futuristic tech. Elon Musk has an ambitious vision for the future of humanity. This ambitious vision led him to found SpaceX and Tesla, both companies that are the driving forces behind technological advancement and innovation in their respective industries. SpaceX, in particular, has been hailed as the Kickstarter of the second space race thanks to their successes in creating reusable rockets, thereby greatly reducing the costs involved. It should therefore come as no surprise that the SpaceX has made yet another giant leap in improving the technology they have invented. Starship is the name given to SpaceX's new reusable rocket design, and its failures and successes may simply be the most important factor determining whether we can go to Mars and beyond within our lifetimes. Starship was reported to be in the works as early as 2012, when it was first mentioned by Elon Musk in a public interview. It was originally envisioned as part of a planned Mars system architecture for SpaceX, and that the design would be widely used for flights to Mars. The concept was later expanded in 2016 to encompass an area beyond Mars, since the design was apparently able to go well beyond Mars, according to Elon Musk himself. Following an updated design displayed to the public in 2017, the name Starship was given to the rocket along with a secondary flight stage system being named Super Heavy. Thus, Starship and Super Heavy both have to work together in order to escape Earth's gravity well and cross into orbit. Starship itself is 50 meters tall with a diameter of 9 meters and has a mass of 120 tons. It is powered by six methane oxygen propellant Raptor engines, which outpour a combined thrust force of 11,500 kN. Starship's design is different from its predecessors in that it functions both as a means of reaching orbital velocity and also as a spacecraft in orbit. Given its designation as a spacecraft and as a disposable rocket, it has been designed to be able to safely land on Earth from high orbital velocities. As part of Starship's plan for inclusion into SpaceX's planned greater interplanetary system architecture, Elon Musk wants Starship to be built with four operational variants. These include the basic Starship variant for hauling cargo and passengers, a satellite delivery spacecraft variant to transport and place spacecraft into orbit, a tanker variant that may become instrumental in extending the flight range of other Starship variants, and finally, a lunar surface orbit transport variant for operations on the Moon. It took until May 2019 for three prototypes to be completed and ready for flight. There were the Starhopper prototypes, Starhopper, Mark I, and Mark II. The Starhopper test yielded success in the design and operation of the Raptor engines and SpaceX's new cabin pressurization systems. The prototypes were given the Starship name starting from the Starhopper MK3, which was renamed to Starship SN1. Starships SN1, SN2, and SN4, however, were destroyed due to failures in different tests, but SpaceX powered through determined to make a successful product. SN5 and SN6 subsequently completed their tests adequately. The construction of the Starship SN8 prototype marked the move to high-altitude testing, a milestone which brought the designer closer to its original intended goal. Starship SN8's test flight took off on 9th December 2020. The spacecraft took off and ascended into outer space flawlessly, and then it was time to head back down and land. It sped down to land, and then it crashed onto the landing pad and destroyed itself in a huge explosion. The project had hit a roadblock again. Or had it? SpaceX CEO Elon Musk's reaction was not that of melancholy, but of excitement and happiness. Mars, here we come, he even posted on Twitter. 
See, the SN8 prototype turned out to be the prototype that came closest to accomplishing Starship's operational specifications. Starship is supposed to descend closer and closer to the landing pad in a horizontal position for maximum air resistance and then flip upright when it was nearly time to land. The SN8 prototype was able to complete most of these steps successfully, only failing to complete the final one. Even if the crash prototype's materials will likely go into making new Tesla Cybertrucks, the test is considered a resounding success because of two reasons. The first and most important is that the test has yielded a vast wealth of data that can be used for SN9. Data from a major milestone operational success such as this will ensure a very high overall success rate for future prototypes. The secondary reason is that SpaceX received further investment as a result of the success yielded. You see, the horizontal descent into the spacecraft performs is something that no other spacecraft preceding Starship has attempted to do in history. A horizontal fall, or rather a stall, is precisely what other spacecraft designs actively attempt to avoid since it is an unusable, dangerous, and unpredictable as a free-falling leaf without any kind of control structure. To eliminate the unpredictability, Starship has four flaps which are used in a fashion similar to a skydiver, using their limbs to control the horizontal freefall. SNH test has demonstrated a successful freefall control system, and as mentioned earlier, the data from this will prove to be immensely useful in upcoming tests. SpaceX will be able to know in particular how well the flap system works and how they can control air resistance to keep the craft stable in order to land the upcoming SN9 on target during its own test. Now, SpaceX's long-term Mars program plans seem to be taking off well as its key element, the Starship, has advanced in its mission. In line with this plan, Starship is well set to transport its first commercial passenger in a flyby beside the moon in 2023. The passenger is Japanese billionaire Yusaka Mezawa, who had made further investments following SNH success. This known as the hashtag Dear Moon Project and Starship features as the most important component of this venture. Even after SpaceX faces rising competition in the space industry from companies such as Virgin Galactic, they will continue to make long strides if the hashtag Dear Moon project succeeds. If the project succeeds, it will be primarily down to SN8's own success. Whereas, at the very least, Virgin Galactic would only be able to provide a suborbital commercial space flight experience and at most, a flight to the Orbital International Space Station. SpaceX will be able to send a commercial passenger the mammoth distance to the moon and back. Granted that a single billionaire will be making the trip, but it is important to understand that such a thing being successful the first time will mean that accessibility to everyday people is a matter of time. The history of the airplane followed much the same way, with it being mostly accessible to only the very rich or specialized people such as military pilots. It still took many years for the airplane to become as ubiquitous as it is today, with everyday people around the world being able to use it as a means of long-distance transport. To be able to utilize our powers of reasoning can also mean to offer dissenting opinions that may feel discomforting or at the very least disagreeable to many. Indeed, many critics question the need for such large sums of investment in ventures like space travel instead of investing in trying to solve real, at the moment, world problems such as widespread poverty. It is a valid question to ask indeed, but in our view, it misses a few considerations and facts. Primarily, that the causes of old world problems such as economic ruin, war, famine, etc. either come and go or are caused due to political failure. We should indeed spare a thought towards trying to alleviate the poor and poverty-stricken, but we should not let human ambition be limited either. Mankind's destiny is to move forward technologically. We may very well become a space-faring species within this century, and the next century may also very well see us inhabit other planets. When faced with the future in a home world with ever-shrinking limited living space, Humankind can only be applauded in making substantial strides towards freeing itself up towards the limitless frontier of outer space. We wish SpaceX and Elon Musk all the possible fortune in future plans. That will be all for today's video, our dear viewers. What do you think? Are you excited for what SpaceX's Starship can accomplish in the coming years? Or do you think it's still a fool's pursuit? 
be sure to let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, you may also enjoy our full playlist on SpaceX that is shown in the end screen. And please subscribe to Futurefile for more such interesting videos on futuristic tech.